Rogue North really is a case of by name, by nature, especially if that nature is a windswept tundra. It's a roguelite set in the north. That north, to be exact, is Canada in the midst of an enemy invasion. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to step into the snowshoes of a one-man army and repel your pesky occupiers from the inside. Through a combination of tense tactical combat, weapon variety, and an addictive, looping nature, it is clear to see why Rogue North is nominated in the category of huge potential at Rogue Jam. Should developer Mac and Gribble Snap snap up the $50,000 grand prize, there's snow telling how far the game could go. A top-down pixel art cousin of hardcore tactical shooters such as Escape from Tarkov or Insurgency, the inspirations behind Rogue North are clear to see from the get-go. As a reclusive mountain man, no longer happy living your days away quietly in a comfy log cabin, you promptly set out to take your country back after a van of armed goons rolls up to your house. From the very first bullet, it becomes quickly apparent that this won't be a walk in the park. Each combat encounter can go disastrously wrong in a heartbeat if you're not giving your aggressors the respect they deserve. Rogue North's enemy AI is impressively smart, both taking cover when needed and flanking you if they spot a good moment to pounce. This can lead to a lot of early deaths as you learn the rhythm of Rogue North's firefights and the best way to tackle each shootout. Naturally, due to the looping nature of starting again from the very beginning each time you fail, you'll have plenty of opportunity to trial and error your way to success. The shooting itself feels great with each member of the impressively sized arsenal appropriately different to use and effective at varying ranges. Particular favorites include a trusty shotgun that proves especially deadly to play with, as well as a marksman rifle that is handy for picking off unsuspecting targets further away. Oh, and then there's the high-powered enemy tank that can be commandeered, which provides a satisfying power trip compared to the nail-biting on-foot encounters. The number of weapons available in the short demo certainly has us excited for what other tools of destruction Mac and Gribble Snap have up their sleeve for Rogue North's full release. While this demo doesn't give away much in terms of overall plot, there's certainly lots of room for potential growth in this regard. The tale concerns the discovery of massive new oil deposits under Canadian soil and an ensuing enemy invasion, so a long walk ahead is promised for our protagonist as he tries to make for the coast and escape the fighting by boat. Apart from searching for potential survivors of a helicopter crash though, not much is really offered in the demo story-wise, so it will be intriguing to see what else is in store for us along the way. That being said, narrative may not be where Rug North's heart lies. It's clear that a lot of thought has been placed into this punishing shooter's moment-to-moment -moment gameplay at this point in development. Nice touches, such as a bleeding mechanic for both you and your enemies, can alter the way you are made to think on your feet. Ignoring one enemy who's bleeding out and focusing on an unscathed one can help wipe out a squad more efficiently, for example. Think of it a bit like how you would focus on the non-downed members of an enemy team in a battle royale. Deciding how to dress adds another layer of complexity. Different hats, jackets, and bags weigh different amounts and provide varying levels of protection from the cold. This this impacts your stamina levels, which in turn affects your ability to sprint more often. It's clear to see where the potential lies in these systems as you progress along your journey in Rogue North, meeting merchants as you do. Perfecting your loadout is key to any good roguelite, so it's good to see an emphasis being placed on player choice this early on in development. Even if that does just mean you want to cosplay as Kurt Russell from The Thing, or a machine gun wielding Santa with a death wish. All in all, there is a huge amount of potential to be seen when playing even this small slice of Rogue North. The bones of a great tactical shooter are there already, and while the combat that may be unforgiving, it also possesses that addictive one more loop quality that all roguelites worth their salt need to have. With even more variety in weapons, enemy types, and locations promised, and a shot at an extra 50 grand the devs say will be used to develop the game further and add a moody soundtrack, the future's looking bright for Rogue North ahead of its full release.